Leadership is a particular thing, and it cannot accept the status quo. I was at a UN Women's Lunch Roundtable Forum a couple of days ago. It's an amazing, amazing Pumzile from South Africa, who is the leader currently of UN Women. Amazing contributions around the table, but one contribution that said, oh, it's not about leadership, it's about the grassroots. Because Michelle Bachelet had been the leader of UN Women, but when she went back to Chile, she couldn't speak out about topic X because she is now the leader of a country and her hands were tied. No, she's not the leader of the country. She may yet show to be a leader. She is the president of that country. What's the difference here? Here is the difference. I, as a humble citizen, without the grace and the leadership quality and the courage of a Margaret Aspinall, have to ask, as a taxpaying citizen, I have to ask, is it so that a political leader's hands are tied? Really? No, your hands are not tied. You're just worried about whether you get elected next time or not. Your hands are not tied. And I felt, I felt so strongly at this lunch that I said, just hold the phone. When Nelson Mandela came out of prison, his hands were tied by his party. The ANC were expecting certain steps and certain statements. He didn't make any of them. His hands were not tied. A leader's hands are not tied. I believe, and I have to believe this, that we are starting to find these young leaders with all the advantages that Chris was talking about, the most informed, the most educated, and the most connected generation in human history.